Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to this first impression video for this palette which is the Rainbow Splash palette from OPV Beauty and I just got this palette from, uh, this is still like stuff triggering in from, from my birthday. <laughs> so this is basically a birthday palette that I got and it is this is what we created with this yeah so this whole morning has been super super crazy obviously i'm filming my intro last so you will find out in the video all of the things that happened while i was filming it was like insane but anyway so this is the palette it comes in a sleeve it's like the same uh the same design inside that it is on the sleeve and when you open it up this is what you get you have a quite a big mirror here and then you have 20 shades of super super colorful beauty which is what you you know that what, what Leora wants so yeah so I concentrated today a little bit more like on this part here of the palette and I will of course at some point do also looks with the upper part or combined or whatever but today for this look I basically used the, the bottom part not all of the shades but anyway I think um I can already like a spoiler alert I can already say that I loved it because otherwise I cannot create a look like this and I'm super super happy with the result and if you want to see <sighs> if you want to see a couple of things first of all how I did the look if you want to find out all the mess that has been going on in between me filming and then also a little bit of my personal vendetta does one say that for colorful palettes and rainbow palettes then please just keep on watching hi my lovelies hi i'm gonna do a special special video for me today because it is my resistance video and as you know <laughs> You'll, you'll you'll figure out what I'm saying in just a second. Um, as you know from the intro, we are going to work with this palette today. It's, uh, it is the Rainbow Splash palette from OPV. I have been trying to say this word and filming this part so many times because I'm always saying it wrong. I don't know. It's hard. Anyway, so <laughs> we're going to do this and I'm super excited to do it. And actually, you know, I'm, I've been trying to come up with what kinds of colors I'm going to use. The only thing, the only complaint that I have with this palette is that there is not, besides this shimmer here, there is not a bit of a lighter shimmer. So that means that whatever I do on my lid with the shimmers, it's going to be dark, which sort of means in order for the look to not be off balance, everything that is above the crease, or at least there is, has to be something that is a little bit darker even than those dark shimmers, it has to be something in the crease that is darker. So that leads me basically to the black. And black creeps me out like you know that. I mean, I did that look the other week um, using the Witch Palette. Doesn't matter. Anyway, it was like a black smoky eye and I struggled so bad. And now today, this is a new brand for me, trying it for the first time, the formula and everything. And uh, using the black. <laughs> So anyway, but what my plan is, I think, is that I'm going to stick with the blues and maybe hopefully the purple if I can fit it in somehow and also the teals and then do a different look with all those berry colors. The thing is though that all of those berry colors are mattes. So I could have gone for a total matte look but I know that doesn't make me happy. So I've got to do what makes me happy. <laughs> of course, it's going to be, as you probably saw in the intro, it's going to be a full cut crease because it gives me the most canvas space. And I think, I think we're just going to go in and see what happens because as of right now, I just know I have to have the black in the crease. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so let's, let's go and see what happens. Okay, so we are all zoomed in and I think I'm going to start with a, like a very slim and stiff shader brush, which looks like this. This is one from Kiko Milano. It's the number 55 and I'm, I'm going to pick up the black. <laughs> what can I do? And uh, yeah, and then we're just going to try to put that on and try to like limit it though to like a very small or very thin line i hope because i just want to create depth with it i don't want to actually use it as a color you know what i mean so let's just try to do that and not mess this up <laughs> The 
cool thing about these kinds of brushes is that you actually more or less can draw with them like with a pencil and it's not a pencil brush it is really really flat I don't know if you can see this like this is the broad side and then when I put it like to the side it's really super flat it is sort of like a concealer brush but more compact and more not quite as stiff I would say but anyway so and I do like the Kiko Milano brushes Anyway, so this is, I think, something like this, how I'm outlining my my wing and my cut crease. I think this is what I had in mind. It looks super messy, but you know, that's what we have to work with. And of course, we're gonna clean all of that up. It's all gonna be good. It like for me, it never works to like have to to have to worry too much about being super neat that's why I'm not doing my foundation because I need to work and I need to dig in the colors and if there's fallout then there's fallout like who cares so that's why I'm doing my face at the end because you know it just gives me a little bit more like th there are so many other things that I have to worry about and and to be anxious about so I don't need to have uh, something else added to this long long list right so this is the owl stage. As I always say, if you're not new here, this is what I call call call. call. Ah, this is what I call the owl stage. Okay, so we used the black. I didn't even show you. This is called Spring. It performed really, really well. Also with the brush that I told you about, very, very nice. Uh, good pigmentation. Built up very like you didn't even almost have to build it up. It was amazing. So good. And uh, now we are there and. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, next thing I think is what I'm gonna do is that I'm using this shade right above it which is called Frosty and it's like a super super nice royal blue, um, I would call that royal blue, and I'm going to take this on a packing brush and I'm just gonna trace the black and see what happens, you know, because as I told you I'm using the black just to to create more depth so I can use the dark shimmers on my lid, that is my only Thing why I'm doing this because I really I don't like to work with blacks only if I well that sounds so racist you know that I'm talking about the palette right <laughs> yeah all right um, so let's just pack this on anyway so why is this my my resistance campaign <laughs> and my revolution and all of this because I'm so sick and tired of everybody bashing rainbow palettes and that's why I'm making a point of doing this first impression video with the rainbow palette because girls uh, I'm so frustrated by this that everybody like it feels like there is no originality in the beauty community everybody just repeats what like the, the other ones say is there really nobody who likes rainbow palettes anymore Seriously, you know, it's the same thing with the big palettes and everybody's bashing now big palettes It's fine that everybody has a personal preference. I should keep working while I'm talking But it's fine that everybody has personal preference. I have absolutely nothing against that. That is a normal thing We are all people with different likes and different dislikes and whatever but being so first of all it's just makeup we can seriously everybody can like whatever they want who cares like this is it's colors you know or in in the case of neutral love lovers <laughs> it's non-colors <laughs> but um it's not that deep really it's really just skin deep you know and these ah, I might have to go on a rant now, <laughs> seriously. Um, you know, I'm I'm watching quite a few, actually that's not true, I'm watching, let's say, two or three, maximum three other YouTubers who are doing the uh, new makeup releases videos, you know, and I love those videos. I love to create them myself, and I also love to edit them, and I love to just sit and talk about makeup. Like, I love this whole concept of this, um, of this video and yeah just really 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 like it uh, but I almost die every single week because it is just so annoying this whole thing with the palette is too big the palette is too rainbowy it's like it's just a rainbow palette it's it's like a tabletop palette it's like <sighs> sweethearts relax 
you know it's uh i find it super annoying sorry no sorry like i'm not sorry about this i really find it annoying that everybody is jumping on this train and it feels like nobody dares to be different you know nobody dares to have your own likes anymore so that's why because i absolutely absolutely and if i'm alone in this fine i'm like you know i'm alone anyway so what can i do um i am gonna love my rainbow palettes to bits that's what i'm gonna do i'm going to have at some point all the rainbow palettes in the world that's also fine <laughs> you know what i mean like um this is too dark <laughs> okay so let's just do the other eye and then um then i'm gonna come right back and we'll check we'll choose the next color okay <laughs> still at the owl stage um next shade is the shade intense which is this matte teal or turquoise it's maybe more a turquoise than a teal okay so let's just put that on and then hmm what am i blending that one out with maybe the matte yellow maybe <laughs> i have no idea the the pickup on the brush is absolutely amazing very cool and as you can see like the how <laughs> amazing the color payoff is absolutely amazing so uh, no complaints there I find it a bit hard to uh, to blend the black but I just always find it hard to blend the black so that is not really a complaint as of yet what when it comes to blending those colors so let's just see how it goes <laughs> The other thing I still wanted to say about what I said before about, you know, no original originality in the beauty community is um, I don't want to uh, criticize those YouTubers because you know who I'm watching, you know, you know what my preferences are. <laughs> so um, of course, of course, everybody can have their own opinion. It is fine. It's just that also in the comment section, you know, also, also on Instagram when I saw that actually the other day, um, doesn't matter because you're seeing this much, much later, but I saw this the other day. Now I cannot remember which brand that was. I don't think it was a big brand, but um, they came out with a rain, rainbowy <laughs> kind of a palette and the comment section was on fire, you know? And then at some point someone wrote, it is so ridiculous how the rainbow palettes are being trashed here and let's just all calm down, you know? And I said, yes, yes, wonderful, you know? I just hate this. I hate this because, first of all, there is a lot of work going into palettes, even if we as customers or as beauty YouTubers or whatever, even if we say, oh, they just threw a few colors together, I never believe that for a second, even though sometimes it looks that way. But um, it's, you know, I just really feel that we should be still allowed to like what we like and and not have this, this whole thing going on that you almost feel like you're you're not supposed to, or you're not allowed to say anymore that you like rainbow palettes for crying out loud is rainbow palettes it's not it's you know it's okay it's just makeup anyway so um so I really do feel that yes, we can all have our own preferences and if you are here for colorful looks, then yes, you're gonna be here for colorful looks. You know what, I, I also saw another YouTuber that I'm not watching that much, but, um, and I'm not gonna say names, okay? Um, I saw her saying that um, in a palette that it was, it was, what did she say? Something like, um, yes, I hate rainbow palettes, but this this palette is It was like the opposite of what she just had said, you know, so I don't know where are we standing now? Uh, do you like rainbow palettes or, and you want or do you want your other palettes to be more colorful? I know there there's a difference I know there's a difference between colorful palettes and rainbow palettes and yes, you know what this is not 
a necessarily a traditional rainbow palette for me this is what I want you know because I have so many more options than just rainbow and honestly there is no green and there there are actually uh, things missing here where, where I would say in a normal rainbow palette there would be at least like one green and one red and one yellow and one blue and one purple or something you know and here in a palette like this you do have a lot more options and I really really like that you know so um, I just really want to feel free to like what I like and to say proudly that I do like this and not being trashed on Instagram, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, I think this is all taking on such a like a um, vicious and, and poisonous thing that I, I cannot agree with that, you know? I, I, this is not me, this is not where I want to go with my makeup career or with my uh, social media career. I'm gonna let myself like, and I say that so many times, I'm gonna let myself like whatever I like and this is it, you know, and who doesn't like it, doesn't need to like it and doesn't need to watch me. Anyway, so that's what we're doing here. I feel like this is a, still a little bit lopsided, I have to maybe build up a little bit more, a tiny little bit more here. I also noticed um, that my lighting is not coming across like the same strength. So sometimes when on video it looks like this side is a little bit darker and this is a little bit lighter, it's because the light is closer here on this side. It's just the thing of my setup here, it's not perfect. It's, you know, I have the desk standing more towards this side. So the, the light has to be a little bit further away. Anyway, so that's just, you know, peanuts what can I do <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna leave this for now and then go back in later and like re-intensify the colors I think what I'm gonna do next is um, using the yellow this one right here and that's called Atlantis and I need another brush is that the right brush I don't know maybe yeah all right so let's just pick this up and see how that works and then we're gonna sort of blend it into the turquoise and as you see I'm just stamping it on because I really do feel like that gives a lot of pigmentation amazing absolutely amazing so I'm just stamping it on and then later on I'm gonna try to blend them a little bit better together but this I do feel is uh, is performing really well. Okay, so this is how it looks so far. It is time to put some shimmers on my lid, which is super super exciting. Um, okay, so I went back in and like re-intensified the shades, and I actually uh, for the blue one here, which is just a thin sliver right above the uh, above the black, I used one of my new brushes, which is from Sigma, which is the E27, and it's just so nice and small and a little bit pointed. So uh, the blending was really really nice. Anyway. I hope it comes across on camera like that it is okay because I think it is anyway so that's what we have I did put my cut crease on um, I'm still using my paint pot in soft ochre for this from Mac I know that this is very unusual I just you know I used to use this as my eyeshadow base uh, my preferences have changed and I just think that it is a shame to not use it for anything and to just throw it out or let it go bad so up until I have used this up I will do my cut creases with this <laughs> which makes it it is a little bit hard but um, it works you know what can I do so I'm working a little bit harder for now because I don't want to um, you know for this product to go to waste anyway so what we're doing now is Actually, I'm very, very uh, intrigued to use like um, something else, so, but, but this is what we're doing. I'm not going to throw this out. Anyway, so now we're going to go in with this one, which is called Fa 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 Phantom, Phantom, I think. Okay, so that's that. And uh, because that is the lightest shimmer, as I told you, and I want to, of course, have that at the, uh, in the inner corner or not in the inner corner, but at the inner corner of my lid. And this is now without it being sprayed. I'm just pressing it on with my concealer brush. And again, I'm just using the concealer 
concealer brush for precise application this is not yet the finished look or the finished pigmentation or the finished opacity of everything it's just because it gives me the opportunity to be really really precise so as you can see I'm going to try to draw this up a tiny little bit and then we're gonna go in with the next shade Okay, so this really applied super, super well. I did as you just saw. I applied the first layer uh, without setting spray and that worked already super, super well. I did not actually have to spray my brush and put another layer on, but I did. <laughs> so anyway, so this is how it looks now. And now I'm gonna go in and I think how I'm gonna finish the look is that I'm going to put this one in the middle, which is called Royal. It's like a blue shimmer. Actually, I love this one, but it is just too dark for me right now. Um, unless I would go for this and this, but I wanna also pull in the purple. So this will have to wait. There's also another nice purple here, but that is a little bit lighter. So I want, of course, the darkest shade to be on the outside of the wing. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna use this one here in the middle, the Royal, and then the shade called Satin, this one, uh, to finish off the wing. So that's that's the plan okay so let's go in with Royal and see how that works okay this one I do feel like I have to spray it let me just get rid of the kick up <coughs> <coughs> sorry sorry for my voice just breaking breaking away all right so let's just get a different brush because sometimes, you know, sometimes when you think that something is not working well, just change, switch brushes and then try again, because sometimes that's really all it is. Okay, so this is already working better. I might just have to go back in and just do the edges around the cut crease with um, the other brush. So anyway, I'm going to um, spray my brush now. Okay, so here it performs already better. It is it is not a super, super, like color-wise, I don't think it is a very, very, how do you say that? Like a very dark shade. <laughs> Does that make sense? It is blue, it is, hmm, I don't know. What am I saying? What am I trying to say? I can't really, I can't say. <laughs> It looks dark in the in the palette, but the opacity is not not as much. Not, for example, as much as the this mint minty light shimmer here. So let's let's see. Yeah. Okay. So as you can see, I think you can see that it is buildable. So I build up, I think now like three layers, which is a lot, I think. But what can I say? So this is what it is. Um, it's all true in life here. So I think it is a nice shade. It is, of course, a very beautiful color. Um, I did have to build it up. Of course, I didn't try to put it on with my fingers. Um, I'm not too much into it when I can avoid it. Okay, sometimes I just cannot avoid it and then usually everything performs much better. But yeah, so this is what it is and I'm gonna try to keep it on an angle like this, you know, in the way we also applied the, the mint green shimmer. Okay, next I'm gonna go, as I told you, I'm gonna go in with the shade Satin, which is the uh, shimmer in purple, purple shimmer. And I'm going to apply that here and just wing it out. So this is now, it is a wet brush, but it is not setting spray, it's just a wet brush because I just washed it. Um, anyway, so I'm. this is already like now performing much much better than the blue did but I must say to be fair that when I did my second eye uh, off camera that the blue already performed better so it might just be an issue of being you don't know like a top coat or like a layer on a unused eyeshadow or something like this so just saying I think this has the potential of being a very very cool look what do you think <laughs> Okay, so this is how it looks so far. Um, I do realize that the wings are maybe not a hundred percent mirror images of each other, but 
we're humans right anyway so that's uh, that's what it looks like I'm gonna go and I'm gonna finish my foundation and of course do the the eyeliner and the lashes and all of that and then I'm gonna come back as always and do make a decision about the lower lash line so uh, and yeah you're gonna see that in a second Okay, sweeties, I'm back and what seems for you to just have taken two seconds for me has taken something like one and a half hours, you would not believe. I got stuck doing my makeup. I had done, I had almost done my foundation. Uh, no, I had done my foundation. I had done my contour and my bronzer and I had done one eyelash. <laughs> and then I got called by my kids and then I had to basically get them ready for school, give them breakfast, take them to school like this <laughs> and uh, yeah and now I'm back anyway so I just put on my second eyelash so that's why there might be some lash glue still drying on this side this one has been on for like two hours <laughs> this one is just like two minutes um yeah <laughs> It has been crazy, a crazy morning, and that's how life is with seven kids. So anyway, um, let's find something to do. <laughs> um, I'm totally over the top right now because this ha it has been too much. <laughs> okay, so let's let's really seriously get back to this look, and um, I think I want to pick up this uh, this turquoise again from the from the crease or from above the crease. So let me just maybe. Which brush am I using? I'm gonna use again like a like a shader brush that is really really defined like this. I hope it picks it up. And I'm gonna try to keep this really really close to my lower lashes. And I hope I'm not gonna mess up my my whole foundation and everything. But you know, on days like this, it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> something like this. I don't want it to extend too far down. I'm still going to blend it out a little bit though, but not like drag it down like crazy like I sometimes do because I don't want this. I want it to like add to the look but not distract from the look, if you know what I mean. So, something like this. I by the way, I also put like a dark blue um eyeliner pencil on my lower lash line, on my waterline. So basically we have like a mirror sort of of some sorts uh, going on of what is going on here above the black. So that that's the plan. <laughs> okay, I'm still going to perfect this a little bit and I'll find something for my lips and put on mascara. And then I'm going to be back with finally, after like five hours, the finished look and my final thoughts. What a mess of a tutorial, what a mess of a morning, but what a beautiful look. I love the look, I love that palette and wow, really, there you go, rainbow palette, you rock and you shall live forever. <laughs> All right, so that's what we have, and I think it turned out really, really nice considering that this whole combined look took me something like five hours with the interruption of a normal morning in a normal family. So yeah, I think uh, we did really, really well. I, I really love it. <laughs> okay, so let's zoom out, give you a bigger picture. Okay, so this is the palette we used. As you know, we did use quite a bit of shades. I really concentrated on that lower part here. I don't think I used anything from the upper two rows today. Yeah, just the yellow. The yellow I did use and everything worked really, really well, um, especially the mattes. And the shimmers were okay. This one here was a little bit thin, if you ask me, especially on the first side. The other side was better, but um, it is in itself not a shade that is really 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 opaque I think like the I don't know it's just what my first impression is I also did not commit actually a, to a lot of space for this one shade because it is really more the mint green and then the purple and this is just the transition between the two so I maybe should not judge it I should do more looks and then uh, update you of course I'm gonna do more looks I also want to do of course work with those um yeah but i really really enjoyed this and um i just love to do colorful looks and i love to do elaborate looks and as you know this is like this is where i thrive and this is what i want to do so would i recommend this palette absolutely according to what my first impression is absolutely um i cannot like i couldn't love it more it is really 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 nice and also when you see this i will have already gotten the new opb palette which is i think 
tropical dreams tropical island tropical i think it's tropical dreams the one with the, like the olives and the yellows and things like this i will have gotten that because um my my uh, family is coming in from germany and they have bought that for me for my birthday so i will be able to do a one brand look with that new palette and this one and i'm super excited about that so there's more gonna come up and um they have more things opb beauty has more things that is really really intriguing to me they also have amazing loose pigments that i would love to try and things like this so we shall see <laughs> but anyway so this is it for today and like i said I loved it and I think this is proof enough of um, how a palette like this can work and yes it is maybe not everybody's piece of cake to do looks like this and maybe then rainbow palettes or very colorful palettes that are purely colorful are maybe not your thing but you know what that's perfectly fine we can all just live our best life the way we want to but leave the other one be the way he wants to be you know so that is absolutely my opinion um how i want to live and um i just want this whole this this negativity and this bashing of things to stop you know uh yeah so that is just uh, what i wanted to add to this and besides that if you're new here i would love it if you were to subscribe to my channel because this is what you get here <laughs> and um if you like the video then please give it a like and besides that i hope you come back for my next video which is going to be super soon obviously because i'm uploading quite a few videos and uh by the way if you want to know anything else that i used in my makeup look you'll find it in the description box along with my social media and everything you need to know and of course as always i would love to hear from you in the comment section that is how we stay connected and i love to be with you here and <laughs> in my little tribe and uh i see you here again for my next video which is coming soon as i said and rambling on hugs and kisses bye